$1.7 million. They later lowered the price to $10.995 million before the anonymous buyer negotiated it down to the mid eights. He is first up for pro in 2031. When the home was first put up for sale, Desiderio said the murder which she is required by law to disclose scared off some potential buyers. Fifty percent of people would rule all it out because of the history, she said, adding that some wouldn't even go in after hearing about the crime. The home needs a full renovation, and the new home owners are still deciding whether to gut the home or tear it all down and start from scratch. They were just days from finalizing their divorce when, on October 22, 2001, he was found bludgeoned to death in the bedroom of his weekend Hamptons home. As they were still technically married, Generosa inherited 50% of his estate, while the other 50% went to Eamon's foundation as stipulated in his will Generosa's boyfriend Pelosi, a married electrician from Long Island, was convicted of the murder in 2004, and is imprisoned at Attica Correctional Facility in upstate New York. He's eligible for parole in 2031. He remarried to Generosa in 2002. The twins, who were at their father's house in Manhattan when the 52 year old was bludgeoned to death, was initially told by their mother that he had killed himself before they learned the truth. The children were left without parents for a second time when Generosa was diagnosed with breast cancer and died in August 2003. The children went to live with their aunt in Alabama. Pelosi, who had been battling for a part of the fortune left by his late wife, always maintained that Generosa hired a hitman to kill her husband. But the twins admit they were not convinced he was a killer until he was convicted. I still had doubts up until that point, Alexa told Katie Cowarick in 2012. I was so convinced he was innocent. I don't know what he did to my mind. H is a psychopath. Both Alexa and Greg are now certain he was to blame, and say they choose to believe their mother was not a part of their father's death.
despite enduring such tragedy, before they were teenagers, the twins pulled through. We had each other, so that was one thing, Greg said. It was not easy. Greg founded Big Flower, a Hamptons lifestyle brand with a flagship in East Hampton. Alexa recently graduated from USC School of Cinematic Arts and is pursuing a career in film and photography.